word these days, you know, mindful. You have to know what's going on around you. And so be aware or breathe. Ah, okay, yeah, start again, breathe, okay? Reset, start again, resilience. Bounce back yeah. from mm -hmm. disaster, mm -hmm. okay, or something, okay? Optimism, yes, mm -hmm. why not? Mm -hmm. Don't be a pessimist and focus on something, right? Or change, okay. Mm -hmm. Here's a renew, energize, yes, okay. <laughs> Recharge, mm -hmm. I like this one, bloom, mm -hmm. just like yeah. a beautiful flower, mm -hmm. bloom, okay? Means after you finish growing, that's not the end. Then you have to bloom and make everybody happy with your beauty, right? And then a travel. Oh, I like that one. That's a good one. Okay. Words of connection. We're not alone in the universe. There's a really interesting series called Cosmos with a wonderful American scientist, astrophysicist, Neil deGrasse Tyson. And he's so funny. He says, and, and he's brilliant, and he talks about the universe. The only problem is he doesn't believe in God. Anyway, he says, at the end, there's going to be nothing. Oh, dear, I don't like that one. Anyway, but, but he's very funny, and he's talking about the universe. So he says, I think, I don't think I chose to talk about the universe. I think the universe chose me. Right? So we have to, we have to be the, the way that something speaks to other people. We have to be the connecting point mm -hmm. between other people or ideas or the universe we mentioned, right? We have to speak for that that can't speak itself or other people that can't speak themselves. We have to be bold and talk about good things, not bad things, mm -hmm. right? um, For example, I have some groups of ladies I talk to and they're all Christian ladies, right? So what did they choose to talk about? We are watching every week and discussing, or I think it's disgusting, but anyway, <laughs> um, the American sitcom Friends. Mm -hmm. Did you ever see that? I never saw it, I'm shocked. <laughs> I, I, I told them nicely, so it sounded like a joke, but I really meant it, I said, Oh, I can't believe that. You nice Christian ladies, mm -hmm. and we're watching this. I mean, it's all about free sex and other things, oh, you know? But I was like, ah, oh, and they said, oh. They said, oh, it's so interesting. And I'm like, dying inside, <laughs> you know? This is not the thing to watch. So we have to be spokespersons for good ideas, not to really waste your time. Mm -hmm. Anyway, there are twenty something young people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we haven't done that, but we've been there. We're out of that. Anyway, so words of connection, good connecting with people, cherish, comfort, listen, listen to other people. That's a good one for me. i got to stop talking and listening. <laughs> <laughs> listening. Anyway, so you should think of some words that inspire you and not a big resolution. You might not accomplish. Who, who lost? 20 pounds, 10 kilos last year. <laughs> <laughs> right. Who yes. lost 5 kilos? Not me. <laughs> right. <laughs> right? That's too big, right? Who saved a lot of money last year? <laughs> right. You see? <laughs> who, saved it? Who, who did lots of exercise every day, 10,000 steps, right? Wow. Yeah. Right. That's what I thought. Nobody, right? Me? <laughs> yeah. So these ideas are too broad. So think of a word or several words that inspire you that can nudge us, push us, when we get depressed. Hey, come on, you, you, you can do it. You can do it. You, you, can, you can, you know, whatever. It's okay. It's okay. Listen, comfort. It's okay. Yeah, okay. It's okay. Mm. You know, like that musical, Annie. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, we don't want forever tomorrow. We want tomorrow and then the next day, right? Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so this is the, the new thinking is one word or several words and not just a big meaningless paper resolution. Next year I promise I will be able to never work, so so okay. So that's that's for this year. Okay, and I think that's about all. 
this is for you who are teachers. Students love this, right? Mm -hmm. These word searches, yeah. You can copy this on the machine and let the kids do it. And then I finished up with uh, two things. Um, Old Lang Syne, I thought yeah. our wonderful music teacher, <laughs> no. and musician, artist, can lead us in singing Old Lang Syne, which mm -hmm. was a Scottish song. Mm -hmm. I, I'm sure there's some in Korean, but I don't know them, so I had to pick, I mean, my grandfather came from England, so we were kind of connected over there, so whatever. And then, just for your amusement, and you can tell your students, okay, these are some traditions I found, supposedly. I wanted to ask if it's true. Um, Regina, you're from Austria. Austria, if you have a pig, a suckling pig, which means a new, tender, young pig that you cook. To be cooked? Yeah, edible pig. Yeah. Did you? I mean, like we have turkey. Do, do you eat pig for? Yeah, in Austria, do you have a pig? Is that a celebration meal? I'm not sure. So I don't remember a meal. I mean, we have it in. We truly have a pig as a New Year symbol for oh. good luck, and it oh. usually comes as marzipan or something. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now it says it's in little cans. Mm. Yeah. Right. Right. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. And green peppermint ice cream. Oh, yum. Yeah. No, no, no. Okay, well, I don't remember peppermint ice cream. Uh, clover, sure. Four leaf, uh, four leaf clover, and the uh, peas. Mm -hmm. And the uh, chimney sweet. Mm -hmm. Chimney sweet. Those three things we always have. A chimney sweet? Yeah. Like, like, like in Mary um, like like Poppins. Huh? Yeah, right. Wow. So cleaning out the old dirty Yeah, right, thing. right. Oh. Oh. That's good. good. Have a symbol. Okay. There's something from Japan too. Mm. Where is Japan? Down yes. here. Yeah. Uh, kadomatsu. I'm sure that's not the right spelling. Kadomatsu. 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 Yeah, Japan. Is it Sonamu? Sonamu. Sonamu. Kadomatsu. Kadomatsu. Kado mas it says it's branches of trees. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They do that? Yeah, pine trees, pine tree. Decorating the pine trees uh, on the door. Oh, okay. Like a wreath or something. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Well, I mean, the, mm -hmm. uh, the we, uh, we know how to welcome spring. Oh, for, for, some, for, for some of us, um, New Year mm. means winter. Mm. Actually, mm. it's the year of uh, the beginning of the year. Right. Should be kind of like welcome because nobody, I mean, I'm sorry, everybody likes winter, but not everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so some people really like uh, spring, like mm. blossoms, and mm. the beauty in the, in the petals, you know green grass or something. Mm. So uh, we have a special holiday called Masinitsa. Mm. Mm. Masinitsa, which is great. like, yeah, sounds great. Um, it's a pancake week. Oh, mm. pancake. Mm. That's interesting. Yeah, we eat pancakes for a whole week, some oh, days. Mm. Everybody get bigger. No judgment, nobody judges anybody. Oh. Oh. So you gain weight. Uh, no, 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 everybody is in the Okay, the same thing. Same, 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 Oh. It's kind of like it's uh, it can be really huge, kind of like a doll. Mm -hmm. uh, usually wearing the Russian dress, mm -hmm. like, some, like some lady. Mm -hmm. But it's not like we're burning the lady. No, what? we kind of like the the, the, the symbol of goodbye, goodbye winter, mm -hmm. you know, welcome That's spring. Mm -hmm. yes, uh -huh. yes, all the past burdens, mm -hmm. unfulfilled desires mm -hmm. in the past. Whatever we could have, should have done mm. in the past. We just did. Yeah, we just did. Yeah. <laughs> See? Just did. Yeah. So we, we burn the Masinitsa, we celebrate with the, mm. just that feeling, you know, that feeling. When you feel like 
new beautiful mm. thing is coming. Mm. Mm. New life, your new your best is coming. Mm. And you're so excited. You don't know what it is, right? Yeah. But you feel it. You smell it. Ooh. Mm. Right? You can even touch it. It's gonna feel it. So that's happening. This year it's happening. It's every year is a little bit mm. different. This year is happening right after the mass Masalitsa period, which is from uh, February 20th to Febu February 26th. Mm. So I'm uh, already bought. I already bought. Uh, milk, milk caro, uh -huh. yeah, yes. milk, mm. ready, yeah. ready, ready for the pancakes. Ready for the week. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, actually, we eat pancakes with the caviar, oh. 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 salmon, salmon, lamb meat, or something like that. All kind of goodies. So, okay. And then we're ready. Mm. Mm. So officially this spring. year, mm. this 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 year, this year, you asked when mm -hmm. the spring comes. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Officially, spring is gonna come to Russia. Sorry, to Russia. That's fine. <laughs> oh, on February twenty seventh. Oh. Mm. February twenty seventh. So, yes, spring. That, that's the first day. Mm -hmm. But does it change every year or not? It changes a little bit. Yeah, so little bit. Mm. But basically February. Like mm. in February. Well, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know. I don't know, in Europe, I imagine the same. We have Shrove Tuesday or Thursday. Tuesday, sure. right. It's 40 days before before Lent. Okay, so based, based on the Christian calendar and um, when Jesus was crucified, which is why calendars are made in the West, because the most important day was Easter. Oh, now, yes. they're, they're Orthodox, Russian Orthodox, which is a week later than the Western, you know, European Orthodox, right? But there's something called, Shro I just looked it up, Shrove Tuesday, where you eat pancakes. Oh, oh yeah. 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 I was, When you said pancakes, I remembered, yeah, yeah. So, so Russians are everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> or Christians are everywhere, whatever, yeah. The traditional feast day before the start of Lent. On Ash Wednesday, see in Lent, mm -hmm. Lent's forty days before Easter. Now, forty yeah. in the Bible always means overcoming Satan and a new beginning. Mm -hmm. Like John the Baptist spent forty days, and so did Jesus in mm -hmm. the in the wilderness. And then you know, Satan tempted Jesus, but he could say no. You know, forty days is a special mm -hmm. number. So in Lent, L E N T, or 40 days before Easter, before Jesus died and the Spirit went to a new place, right? He said in paradise. And so during Lent, um, people give up something. You, you know, you know, carnival like in Brazil, carnival, yeah. right? Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Carnival <laughs> means carnevale, which means goodbye meat. Yeah, right. And right. people, oh, yeah, in Latin, oh. And people gave up something they loved mm -hmm. during these 40 days, right? Mm -hmm. And the, the Western Christians were supposed to give up meat, mm -hmm. right? Which mm -hmm. meat, right? Mm -hmm. When right. I talk to some teenage Korean boys, meat, I love meat, too. right? Yes. Maybe your son, <laughs> right? Yes. Meat. Yeah. Meat. So, so for 40 days, you know, they have this condition mm -hmm. not to eat something you like. Mm -hmm. Could be chocolate. It could be meat. Something to to get rid of any impure desires, right? Mm -hmm. And think about Jesus, right? And so it starts with Shrove Tuesday because Wednesday be begins Lent, mm -hmm. right? So Shrove Tuesday is when we eat pancakes too in the West, mm -hmm. and Carnival is three days before Wednesday, right? And they this is the last chance to have a good time for forty days and. 40 days they continue. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 40 days you don't eat meat or you, you, you choose no, something. Too long. <laughs> too long. Well, when you think about mm. what happens after death, I don't think it's mm. pretty long. <laughs> I think it's longer <laughs> afterwards. But anyway, whatever. Anyway, spirit world. Um, anyway, so yes, yeah, so I guess in the way, uh, because pancakes, if you just eat pancakes without the caviar, right? <laughs> then it's very plain food. It's yeah. not delicious. But you're hungry, eat the, eat the, eat the pancakes, right? Mm. Yeah. Sorry, you finished all the caviar last week. But, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's, it's a, a time when you're supposed to repent, actually. 
And so plain things, you know, what what did I do here? Christians believe Jesus died to help people, so uh, am I as good as Jesus? Oh, I don't think so at all. But, you know, so we're supposed to repent and think about that, you know? So we're not supposed to have delicious foods and bagels. Or no chocolate. Yeah, no chocolate, bye-bye. Eat it now, right? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. So, so this pancake tradition is... Christian tradition in both the East and the West, mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah. Anyway. Also in Korea, you eat pancakes on certain days? Or? I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. but, they, but, but they have duck. 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 That's kind of yeah. like pancakes, you know? Kind of like. Yeah, it's kind of flat, you know. And all yeah. okay. yeah. yeah. Delicious. It's a yeah. mini, mini pancake. Mini. They call it ton. Yeah. Oh, that's mm. different. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Chun is different. Yeah, that's what we did. Yeah. Yeah. So it's based the jump. Yeah. The jump means yeah. I wonder if your general doesn't drink for 40 days, right? <laughs> <laughs> you have to ask him. <laughs> 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 Good. Uh, anyway.